YouTube, it is that special time of year again when San Diego Comic Con comes around and collectors like me and you get totally stressed out and we lose sleep. Now I'm not at San Diego Comic Con, I'm all the way in Savannah, Georgia, sitting outside the mall at 8 o'clock in the morning, waiting for Barnes & Nobles to open so I can get some exclusives. Now I've been up all night, I've gotten no sleep at all, I'm here with my girlfriend but she doesn't want to be on camera right now because she is grumpy and didn't get no sleep either. It's been a very stressful night, as every night is when Comic Con season comes around, but I was actually able to grab a few things such as the limited um blue scooby-doo off of boxlunch.com because i don't have no bo box lunch in my city but yeah it's eight o'clock in the morning barnes and nobles opens at nine i'm sitting outside of it right now i'm the first person out here so i should have first dibs on all the barnes and nobles exclusives but i'll check with you once i get in the store and we'll see what i find all right youtube i wanted to get it on video when I went into Barnes and Nobles, but it was basically a mad dash for all the pops, so I really couldn't afford to try to record. But I got one of everything from Barnes and Nobles. Now, got this free poster. It's pretty dope. Now, got to go to Think Geek and Hot Topic. It's going to be crazy. Here's day one of Comic Con's small little haul. Now today was hectic. I've been collecting pops a few years now. Today the lines were longer at the stores than ever. I remember the first year that I was collecting pops. I was at the mall. I didn't even know that. Sorry, I just woke up. I had to fucking take a power nap because I didn't sleep at all last night. Stayed up all night. Was waiting outside the mall an hour before they opened. You know, I had to hit Barnes and Nobles, Think Geek, GameStop, Hot Topic, and Toys R Us. It was hot as hell outside because I live down in Georgia. I am sleepy as fuck, but I figure I need to go ahead and finish this video. Now, one thing I wanted to speak on real quick before I get into everything. I wanted to make have this a hunt video for the most part. You know, of me going and finding the Comic Con Pops, that was totally impossible. There was no way I could have shot a video. People were acting crazy, trying to cut lines, and shit like that. So, I had to be on my P's and Q's so I could get all the fucking Pops I wanted. Now, back to what I was saying. The first year I was collecting Pops, I remember... I mean, I knew what San Diego Comic Con was... But I wasn't, like, when I started collecting Pops, I didn't know there was this whole big community online of fellow collectors, like on Instagram and Facebook groups and YouTube and stuff like that. You know, I just started collecting them. I wasn't, I can't say I wasn't super big on them because I really liked them and really loved them. But, like I said, I just wasn't that tuned in with what was going on in Funko News. So I was at the mall around like four or five o'clock in the afternoon happened to walk by Hot Topic and saw they had all these San Diego Comic Con exclusives. I went in there, bought a bunch of them. They literally had every single one of them all the way at fucking five o'clock in the afternoon. Fast forward a few years to now, literally every single Comic Con pop is sold out by 10 30 in the morning you know and that's if a store opens at 10 so like it's gotten way bigger since i started collecting way bigger you know so i don't you know i don't know if a lot of people are actual true collectors or there's just a lot of people out there that realize hey i could buy these and sell these on ebay because i've seen like all walks of life at the mall today like fucking 70 year old grandmas at Barnes and Nobles getting pops and a free poster so you know if they're collecting then that's awesome I just remember how it was like when I would go during events and it would be like me and one other person you know what I'm saying 
or two other people and now like today there was like lines of like 40 people outside of Think Geek and stuff like that. But I happened to be the the first person outside of Barnes and Nobles. So I got everything I wanted from there, which was every single pop that they had today. Now, I think it's funny every year. Well, not funny. Like, ha ha ha, this is hilarious. You guys don't know what's going on. Not like that, but it's just funny or amusing to see how everybody starts to get in the Comic Con panic for pops. Now, if you're just an action figure collector, Marvel Legends, Black Series, whatnot, I can honestly say it doesn't get as crazy for action figures as it does for pops. Like, people start panicking. 12 o'clock hits, everybody gets in the uproar. Where are the online pops? Where, why are they not online yet? It's 12 on one. And I'm like, listen y'all, we're on the East Coast. These pops are gonna start coming out at 3 a.m. Because Pacific Standard Time, when it's 12 o'clock over there, it's three o'clock down here. Y'all are in for a long night. And if y'all think that y'all are just gonna go on these websites, Click a few buttons and get all the pops you want. You're sadly mistaken. These shits sell out within minutes sometimes. The websites crash. All types of crazy shit happen. All types of crazy shit. So, you have to realize it is not a walk in the park whatsoever to get these pops. Not in the least bit. But people think it's going to be. And every year you see the new collectors going crazy over the pops and panicking, thinking they might not get what they sought out to get. And like I said, I'm not saying that it's funny, like ha 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 funny, but it's just... It's just kind of funny to see the mad dash, you know. I do want to see everybody get all the exclusives that they want. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. Wanted to make this a hunt video. That was basically impossible or else I wouldn't have been able to get all the things that I got. Now, online, I was actually able to get a good bit more than I thought. I was actually able to get the blue Scooby-Doo, which is a limited item. So I was like super surprised that I actually was able to get that. I actually had like four tabs pulled up with it up on my computer on boxlunch.com. And like it, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. I got it in the cart. Sight started crashing. I'm like, what the fuck? I was literally on here the exact second that it was up here. I thought I was going to be one of the lucky ones to get Scooby-Doo. Bam, out of the cart. Luckily, my girlfriend actually had it pulled up on her phone. And it went through. Now, me... Being what you call a veteran Funko collector. We know all about Funko. Unfortunately. Almost 50%. And this is crazy y'all. Almost 50% of the time you get a pop you want. On, from Comic Con. You got it in the cart. You ordered it. You get confirmation emails. You're happy. You got the coolest pop. And... A day or two later, what happens? Bam, another email. Your order has been canceled due to the lack of supply. Or some shit, whatever the fucking wording you want to put. Sorry, I'm getting aggravated. Because a lot of orders get canceled. So, if you're watching this video right now, Funko Collectors. And you got a bunch of orders in. And I'm not saying this to be negative. I'm just saying this for no one to get their hopes up. A lot of time Funko comes and cancels those orders. A lot of time, you know, people like us will have like one, like let's say one Scooby-Doo ordered, 
but then someone comes along and somehow gets 10 Scooby-Doo's in their cart and they're going to send him the 10 instead of sending you the 1 because his order is bigger and that's just how things go so I got my fingers crossed in high hopes but I'm not going to let them you know get my hopes up just to shoot me down because that does happen all the time but I'm trying to stay positive I believe I'm going to get everything that I ordered online and I believe y'all are going to get everything y'all ordered online I think Funko's going to get it together this year but like I said you never know so just don't be surprised it shit happens all the time now I was able to get the blue scooby doo off of box lunch wasn't really interested in anything else off of box lunch besides the Aladdin Dorbs ride but it went up to 30 I thought it was going to be 20 and I was just like uh forget it I got too much other stuff on the list so said fuck it just got the blue scooby doo bam go to hot topic hot topic I have Marvin the Martian in my cart you know that's also a limited piece it's the pink Marvin the Martian click check out BAM site fucking crashes I literally get the site back working within like 25 30 seconds Marvin the Martians all the way sold out and that 25 seconds 2000 what 700 Marvin the Martian pops were sold so that lets you know how serious things get these sites crash a lot of things like that happens because of all the traffic all of a sudden coming on the websites at one time so wasn't able to get that what I was able to get from hottopic.com now I wasn't going for like all the pots from Hot Topic I was just going for the limited pieces I was actually able to get the Dorbs and so the you know the Bugs Bunny one so that was pretty cool I was able to get that fortunately what I was upset about, I'm not sure about everyone else's stores, but apparently at my Hot Topic, they told me that the new vinyls, you know, like, who is it? I'm trying to think. Who is like Poison Ivy and someone else. I already forgot who it was. Sorry, I'm, my, my memory's cloudy. I just woke up, mind you. I started making this video. Um, but the little vinyl two-pack, they said it was online only, and I had no idea about that. I'm not sure if it's even true, or they snagged everything for themselves. Who knows at this point. But I wasn't able to get that, so that was kind of disappointing. But yeah, I was able to order the limited edition Dorbs two-pack off of HotTopic.com. And then, I was able to go to Target. And I gotta say, Target... Maybe they're trying to make up for all the past years of fuck shit they do, but Target was the easiest website to order from. There was no lag, no bullshit. Bam, bam, got Bowie, got in a planetary Batman. No problem. Easiest order of all. It was actually just as easy as a normal order from any website. So that was good. I was expecting more trouble to come out of them, honestly. You know how things go with like those Qui-Gon Jinns, which is my Funko horror story. And Qui-Gon Jinns really pissed me off. So, that's basically what happened online last night. I didn't go for too much. I only went for a few things. I'm not into Game of Thrones or Westworld. Even though the Samurai Pop looks cool. You know, and I wasn't really trying to get much offline. I do most of my Comic Con hunting in stores. Because honestly, even with the crazy lines that it was this year. It was still less stressful than fucking online. Clicking over and over again. Come on, website work. Well, come on, website work. It's like GameStop crashed automatically when I went on there last night and everybody said that like the people who did get orders said they had to like wait for just an hour just for like you know when they click 
you know, basically add the cart. They had to wait like an hour just for the shit to add the cart. I didn't have time for that. <laughs> but yeah, the mall was hectic. Leaves the mall. It's now like 10.20. Shoot straight over to Toys R Us. Going to Toys R Us. And I find... Bam. Aries was there. Now don't get me wrong, I wanted Aries, but I also wanted Bruce Wayne. I would have gotten the Rick and Morty. I forgot, was it Tinkles? Twinkles? I don't know, like I said, I haven't like really gotten into the show like that. Not that it's a bad show, when I watch it, it's hilarious. But I haven't super gotten into it. But I would have got that. But Bruce Wayne and Tinkles, let's call them Tinkles for now, because I'm not sure of the name. You know, it's a little ghost in a jar. They weren't there. Just Aries. No door to pack, nothing. I'll go to ask somebody. He was like, I don't know. Like, I couldn't even tell you if I wanted to. So I'm like, do you have... I said, I see you got the Aries Comic Con Pop. But did you get the other Comic Con Pops? And he literally says, I don't know, but I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. Like, what the fuck does that supposed to mean? I have no fucking clue. That's what I was told. So, I'm like, okay. Try to ask somebody else. Everybody asks that they have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. But yeah, Aries was there. No Bruce Wayne. Which was one of the main pops I actually wanted. But you know, I'm not going to cry over it. It is what it is. Shit happens. And that's just a pop that I don't have. And I'm going to have to live with that for the rest of my life knowing I don't have that Bruce Wayne pop holding a little better rank. And it's making me sad. <laughs> but overall, successful first day. I got basically all the Funko products I wanted. Now, of course, there's some things at Toy Tokyo and Funko, like... Funko pop-up shop exclusives and stuff that I'm not going to be able to get because I'm not at Comic-Con. I also want the Conan Pops, but I'm not at Comic-Con, and I'm not paying hundreds of dollars for them on eBay. So everything that was obtainable to me, I was able to pick up. So I'm happy. I saw that that Ren and Stimpy 2-pack went up on Funko Shop. I missed that. That was actually the main thing I wanted from Con, but I'm hoping... That might be something I'll pay eBay prices for eventually. I don't know. Don't quote me. But I know I've been rambling on. But I feel like I need to share these experiences with you. And to all you new pop collectors. I want you guys to realize. Comic Con shit is crazy. This is no different than any other year. Now for me it was different in stores. Actually out in public. Because there were so many more people. Like don't get me wrong. Like last year. And the year before, the pops were actually, you know, cleared out in the first day. Or, you know, like last year, I think everything was basically sold out within like the first few hours. But today it was like, as soon as the store opens, bam, wiped out. Luckily, I was the first person in line at Barnes & Nobles. And like the third person in line at Think Geek. And the second person in line at Hot Topic. Well, my girlfriend was the second in line at Hot Topic. We had to split up. She had to get me a bunch of stuff. Trust me, she wasn't happy because she didn't get no sleep either. But, you know, I met some cool collectors out there. Definitely. Also met some people who weren't so cool. But, overall, it's a cool experience. And, you know, I would do it again. And I will be doing it again. New York Comic Con. Just wait on it. But overall, being out there, the hardest thing to get, literally, you might think it's this Megazord, some people. You might think it's that Megazord. No. This. This little motherfucker right here. Only three of them came to my whole entire city three and I was able to get one a lot of people were in the uproar over him a lot also scare glow 
So the Barnes and Nobles ones were basically the ones that I think sold out the quickest. Man Bat was no easy feat as well. I also only saw like you know a little bit of these. I'm not sure which pop will become the rarest. And all that shit. That's something for you guys to decide. I just know I was able to get basically everything I wanted. Oh yeah, I also ordered Snoke offline. So that's definitely cool. And for now, I'm basically going to go ahead and sign off. Give you some guys some time to think about this. <laughs> but no, I'm about to sign off. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, my quick little haul. I'm going to make separate videos, you know, talking about a few pops and giving my thoughts on them. Probably reviewing a few of them. But I just wanted to go ahead and get this initial video out there for you guys to show you what I got. And there will be more Comic Con Pops videos coming within the next few maybe hours or days during Comic Con we'll definitely talk all about these pops and I'll definitely show you all the pops that I get online once they get shipped to me I will not forget to show you that you guys so don't worry I was not expecting to get the Megazord Nobody knew Megazord was actually going to Think Geek until like late last night this morning. It was supposedly going to FYE. So that's one thing I always tell people. You never really fully know until that morning. You know, or that night if you're up all night like me. You never fully know. Because shit changes. Shit happens. Shit gets crazy. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys can relate to the things I talked about. Let me know about your Comic Con experience down in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Was it easy? Was it a piece of cake? Did you get everything you wanted? Did you get shitted out of what you wanted? Like, were people acting an ass in line? Or did you meet a lot of cool pop collectors? I would like to know. Like, let's talk about it in the comments below. So be sure to comment and let me know that everything, you know, that went on. And what you guys picked up. And stuff like that. So, for now, I'm out. And as always, be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe, you guys be safe out there at Comic Con, or safe out there hunting down these pops, because there's some crazy pop collectors out there. <laughs> but, alright YouTube, as always, you have a good day, YouTube.